Hey demons, it's me, your girl Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a June TBR, which is not like me. Um, I've stopped filming TBRs a couple of months ago just because I was filming them and then maybe read one book out of the entire TBR and they just don't mesh well for me. In general, I am a huge mood reader, so I just didn't really see the point of filming a video with a bunch of books that I was definitely not going to read that month. So as a general rule of thumb for me, unless I'm doing a readathon, I don't film TBR videos. However, June is my birthday month. I've been saving some books that I think are gonna be five stars and kind of just saving like all of my rereads for June. Um, I just want it to be just an amazing reading month. I know I'm not the only one who kind of stockpiles in this way. I really enjoy celebrating my birthday. Like it's my birthday month. Um, <laughs> even though my birthday is not till the 24th, like the entirety of June, it's my birthday month. So I thought I'd film a TBR of some of the books that I'm planning to read. Um, I did treat myself and got a couple of books that I will be reading. I know I'm going to be reading in the month of June, but I don't have yet. So um, this is definitely not going to be all of them. I was just feeling like filming. Um, and also I'm kind of in a reading slump which is weird because in May, and that video is going to be up before this one, but my TBR, I had an amazing reading month. I read 12 books, most of them were four or five stars, and it really just came on all of a sudden, um, like the last couple of days, I'd say like the 28th or 29th, where I was just like, I don't want to read. I would pick up, I have, I'm like in the middle of five different books right now that I'm only on like page like 10 or so, because that's all I want to read. So... Ugh, yeah, we'll see how this month goes. That's another reason why I'm filming a TBR, um, just to kind of motivate myself. Like maybe if I talk about some books that I want to read, it'll get me inspired to read some more. Yeah, but I've done enough rambling, so I'm just gonna get into it. These are gonna be some of the books that I'm planning on reading in June. So the first book that I'm planning on reading, I definitely wasn't going to have this in the video until last night when I picked it up. Um, and that is going to be Lord Brocktree by Brian Jakes. This is one of the Redwall books. It's the first one chronologically. Um, I think it's like the 13th or something technically in the series, but since I've read all of them and there's not really like any order to the series, they're all kind of standalones. Um, I prefer reading them in chronological order now. I read Redwall um, in April and I had just kind of been craving getting back into that world. It's it's middle grade fantasy about um, anthropologic, is that the word for it? Anthropologic creatures. And so this is about one of the badger lords. Um, and I'm on page 54. This is the farthest I've been able to get in a book for the last week. So yeah, I'm gonna roll with this, read this middle grade fantasy. I think it's exactly what I'm craving to read at this exact moment in time. So yeah, I might pick up a couple more of these. I mean, maybe we'll get to June and that's all I've read is the entire Redwall series. Um, we'll see. But so far, this is probably going to be the first book that I do end up finishing in June. The next two books that I plan on reading in June is the second two books in the His Dark Materials series, and that is The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. I'm waiting for the audiobook on both of these. I've read, I've reread these books several, several times. It's probably the series um, that has impacted me the most. I would probably say even more than Harry Potter. This is definitely tied with Harry Potter as the series that has impacted me the most as a reader. I've read them on audiobook though, and the audiobooks are fantastic. The author actually narrates it, and it's a full cast audiobook, which is just wonderful. Um, so I do have the physical copies. Um, these are the most gorgeous mass market paperbacks I've ever found. That's been one of my gripes with this series is that um, most of the book covers are kind of ugly, in my opinion, for his dark materials, but these are just gorgeous. They're stunning, and they're the mass market paperback, so that never happens, I feel like. But yeah, I'm either going to read these or listen to them on audiobook. It just kind of depends. I want to read them both this month, but obviously we'll see how the wait times for the audiobooks are. The next book that I'm hoping to get to in June is my nonfiction pick for the month, and that is The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs and the New History of the Lost World by Steve Bruchate. I'm such a geek for dinosaurs. I saw that this one, I think it won last year's for nonfiction in the Goodreads pick. 
it's just, ah, the cover just really drew me in. I'm such a dinosaur nerd. As you can kind of tell from right here, Jurassic Park is my favorite movie. It's my favorite, it's one of my favorite books. It's not my favorite book, um, but it's one of my favorite books. It's my favorite movie. I am a kid of the later 90s, so dinosaurs, I feel like, were very, very big back then. Um, so yeah, I've just always had this big nerdy obsession with them. I've heard that this nonfiction book is just really great and it's really up to date too, which is important because I feel like as a kid I did read a lot of children's nonfiction uh, about dinosaurs and I know there have been a lot of changes from like 1998 to when I was reading those to now, namely that, you know, dinosaurs had feathers and, you know, there are like different species that aren't actually real because scientific advancements, which is cool. So I'm excited to read a very, very current rendering of dinosaurs. The next book is a book that I don't know much about, but I found it at a thrift store um, during Halloween time. I never read it. And I just think it's kind of the perfect time to read it because it sounds like it's right up my alley. And that is Little Star by John Avide Lindquist. He's best known for Let the Right One In, which is also a movie. That one's about a vampire. This one I've read is very modern day Carrie-esque about a child star, which sounds very intriguing. I love Carrie. Um, I think that's just such a classic King book and just such a classic horror staple. Yeah, it says this one is an unforgettable portrait of adolescence, a modern day Carrie for the age of internet bullies, offensive, re re offensive reality television, and overnight YouTube sensations. So this kind of seems like it's right on my alley. Um, throw little kid and coming of age tropes in with horror and you have a recipe for a really amazing book, in my opinion. It is a bigger book, which have been like intimidating me recently, especially because of my reading slump, but this one looks so good that I am looking forward to reading this, and I probably, hopefully, will get around to reading this one because I have read, I think, pretty much all of Lindquist's other works, except for the one that just came out this year, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. I know it's going to be solid. The next book I have I actually got for Christmas, and I knew once I got it that I was saving it for this month because I have heard amazing things about it, and that is going to be House of Leaves by Mark Danielowski. This is a book that is written in um, epistolary format, so it is like a mixed media very non-traditional. I have heard this book is a challenge to get through, um, but at its essence, I think it's um, the story of a haunted, the story of a house that is a lot bigger um, or has like a different floor plan than what it looks like on the outside or what the floor plans show. Um, it kind of gives me Haunting of Hill House TV show vibes. And I've heard this is just absolutely wonderful. I'm very excited to read this one. It's definitely popped up in a lot of books, um, of like eeriest books that have come out recently. I mean, this book isn't that recent anymore. I think it came out in like 2000 now at this point. Yeah, it came out in 2000 at this point, but it's a modern day classic at this point. And I'm just really looking forward to reading this. I might pick this one up too. This might be enough to get me out of my reading slump because, again, it's a chunker, but the non traditional format, there are a lot of pages that look like this, for example. So I feel like it could be really easy to pull me out of that slump. Um, as for the books that I ordered for myself, one of them is Priory of the Orange Tree. Just looking forward to after Game of Thrones and that ending. Um, I just really wanted some really good, really feminist high fantasy with dragons, so ordered that. I'll definitely be reading that this month. Um, I recently got Libby. I'm trying to transition from the Overdrive app to the Libby app because I've heard Libby is a little bit better, um, and I'm on the wait list for a bunch of audiobooks. Um, I think that might help me get out of my reading slump too, is reading audiobooks. That's just like a short little TBR. I generally read about 10 books a month, a little bit more if I read like a bunch of graphic novels or audiobooks. I'm really hoping I can pull out of this reading slump because it's the third now and I've read, let's see, 54 pages total of a middle grade and that's the only thing I've wanted to pick up. So. I'm hoping that I get out of it soon. Hopefully those books will do the trick. 
Um, if you have a book that has gotten you out of a reading slump in the past, please leave it down below, especially if it's like, um, I'm really in the mood for horror or for really, really feministy high fantasy. So any of those, or really just any book that has gotten you out of a reading slump recently, leave them down below. I might check them out this month. But that's gonna be the end of this video for me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.